Good morning, friends. Excited to be able to share the gospel with you today. We dig a little deeper into John 3 this morning. We're looking at verses 10 through 12. And if you would, read with me. You are Israel's teacher, said Jesus, and do you not understand these things? I tell you the truth, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, but still you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? Of course, Jesus has just told Nicodemus that he has to be born again and that the spirit moves where it will and we do not see the spirit, but we see its motion. And we were so thankful to have a discussion yesterday in our Bible study about the spirit and the wind. But today we want to look at what we accept and what we know. Knowledge is a big thing. That's the whole field of philosophy, whether it's I think because and therefore I am, or it's I think and that's all I know, or it's I can see this, so I accept that is true. People want to know what the truth is. But then what we do in a lot of cases, whether it's an argument or something we can't imagine happening, we don't believe what the truth is. And so we need to work today to let God's spirit come into us, to let God guide us into all truth, because God is the God of truth. And as you go through your day today, look at things through God's eyes. Listen for the Spirit's voice. Let God remind you of what is and what is just your opinion. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this another day. We offer it up to you. We ask you to cleanse our minds. In Romans 12, you say that you will renew our minds and help us to discern what is good and right. And we ask that you do that. We ask that you show us the difference between what we think is important and what's vital in your eyes, between what we think we know and what we know in knowing you. For we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you in a few minutes for prayer time.